Praise God. Lord Jesus, bless the eyes and ears of the listeners. I plead your blood on this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys, you should be receiving your anointing oil. It should be coming in the mail. Right here it is. Shake it up before you use it twice a day. Pray. Anoint your head and pray. But shake it up. There's just some very old ancient ingredients in there. Shake it up. Okay? In Jesus' name. All right. I put the Beatitudes up today. Uh, we have Google Meets tonight. Uh which is what it says about right here. Number three, one, two, three, stay connected to a body of believers. Google Meets, that's available to you Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here. Ain't nobody teaching you but Jesus Christ himself through my mouth. All right, we are knowing God's will. We want to know what God's will is for your life. First, you got to know God's will. So what do we do? Give our life to Jesus. Then we know, grow, and go. We know. You can't grow if you don't know. So you start out knowing, learning, seeking, studying, learning who God is, how he works, how he moves, why he does it. Grow. When you grow, and see, this is considered knowledge. Knowledge. Now you go into wisdom. Wisdom is when you know God's word. Now you're doing it. You're living according to God's word. You're doing the things the Bible tells you to do. And every single one of us is here to go to get more disciples. Go get more people. Bring them to the Lord. So let's talk about it. Don't forget Google Meets tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, the code is R-A-O-U-B-O-F-M-V-I. Come. The room opens at 8. We start at 8.30. And the lesson is on the board from yesterday. It'll say Google Meters on it. Have that ready and done when you come. Okay, knowing God's will. Which way do I go? Right? Which way do I go? So when we face big decisions in life, we often just want someone smarter than us to tell us what to do, right? Well, God does have a purpose for each one of us, okay? But God is not some big vending machine in the sky or a genie in a lamp that must be rubbed the right way to produce the answers that we want, okay? God created each one of us for a relationship with himself, and one thing you can put down that we all already know, we are all here to do, is to worship God. Every single one of us is here on this earth to do that and to worship him and to love other people. Okay, so God created each one of us for a relationship with himself and he delights in drawing us closer to him through the questions we ask and the answers that he gives. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a little warning here, all right? There are no easy answers, okay? To, that can, there's no easy answers I can give you. No formulas or surprises either, okay? God does have some very specific things to say about how we can know his will for our lives. As always, it begins with what? Communication, okay? Ask, ask. Jesus said, ask and you will receive. Ask him. Okay, the better we know a friend, the easier it is to find a gift that will please that friend, correct? So the better we know God, the clearer his intentions and desires for us become. Starts with knowing God. It starts with knowing God's will. Okay, so let me put you on the right path here. Write this down. Number first thing you do is you pray to know God's will. Write that down. Pray to know God's will. All right, not to give a laundry list of things you want God to do, right? The one who loves us knows exactly what you need, so ask God to make his will your own. All right, that's a terrifying prayer, right? One with the real possibility of changing our lives completely, but the only prayer that counts. Okay, Psalms 143.10 says, Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Write this one down. Matthew 6, 9 through 10. Jesus taught his followers to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay? So we pray. Communicate with God. Talk to him. He hears you. All right? So then you're becoming to know God. Okay, pray, study his word, come to classes. All this is going to get you to know God's will. Number two, imitate Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5, 1 through 2. Imitate him. 
This means finding out who he is and what he has said and what he done. It means living with his words and it means working on a living relationship with him now. Okay, Ephesians 5, 1 through 2 says, Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So we are extensions. Every Another thing we all have in common here, we are each extensions of Jesus Christ. We are extensions of him. You understand? What he did, we are to do. Okay, and you can't do anything if you don't know him. So you know him by getting in his word and studying. Come to a body. Let's go to the next one. Get stayed. I mean, get uh, get and stay connected to the body of believers. And I put Google Meets because we do it four nights a week and, and every day on in the morning for prayer, Bible reading. But four nights a week, we do it. We get intensive, intensive Bible studies, y'all, with the group of believers. We pray together. We talk together. We encourage each other. All right. Jesus said, forsake not assembling yourselves together. All right. A body of believers. Get and stay connected to a body of believers. Does it have to be in a building? No. This is God's church right here. We are Jesus stewards and it's not in a building. But it's doing what it needs to do. It's reaching the people and helping the people. And we're growing together. So the body of believers is the church. That is the church. All right. By rubbing elbows, you know, and rough, rough edges with others on the same path, we find the nourishment and the encouragement for the lifelong task of learning God's will. And we do it together. And sometimes it can be a lonely place. It can seem like a lonely place, y'all, when you're serving God on this earth, because other people don't know what you're talking about. Other people think you're crazy. Other people, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. But us, when we come together, we all understand we all know what God's word says, and we are doing our best to live by it. And Jesus told us what we would go through for those of us who are doing so. He told us, they will persecute you for my name's sake. They will kill you because of me. They did it to me. They'll do it to you. We understand what's coming because of what God wrote in his book. Okay, and so we come together. And we encourage each other. And by the time we get off, we feel a little bit better because somebody else understands. Okay? You try to grow alone, it could be a little rough patch. So you get and stay connected to a body of believers. And we do that Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday night. Google Meets, again, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The code is R-A-O-U-B-O-F-M-V-I. Come. It'll cost you a single thing to download that app, y'all. And if you got a desktop or a laptop, you don't got to download nothing. Just search it. Come. Okay? The next thing, be willing to accept and act on what God makes clear. Be willing to accept and act on what God makes clear. Be willing to do that. The Apostle Paul said it best. He said, therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. That means live your life according to God's word. Don't put things in your body that is against God's will. And that has something to do with what they're trying to make us do today. What the whole world is trying to make us put in our body that's not God's will. Somebody said, one of their pastors said, God told them it's okay to do this, to put this in your body. God never said that. If so, God would have created you with it in your body. God did not say that. Okay. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. To reject the things this world has to offer you and what makes your body feel good, right? No, we reject that junk. And only go by God's word and what he created us to do and be. And, and, we, and we stay, we keep what he created. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you renew your mind, y'all? If you're not in God's word daily, you cannot renew your mind. You've got to sit down and do it. Just because you hear my video, that don't renew your mind. It encourages you to go renew your mind yourself. 
You renew your mind when you sit down and take alone time and spend it with God and get in his word and study it and find out what he wants you to do. You find out how you can be more like him today. That renews your mind. Okay, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. When you renew your mind, yourself, in God's word, you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. You will know that God didn't create you with this stuff in your body. He created you as you are because he made you in his perfect will. Okay, so you will, some of you that are saying, well, this pastor said, that pastor said, no, you go find out. What did God say? What did God say? I don't care what pastor so-and-so said. What did God say? That's where you're missing right there. Find out what God says. Let me tell you a few things what God says about you, okay? Okay, if you've joined God's family and belong to Christ, the Bible tells me that I am chosen. Write this down. I am chosen. And loved by God, therefore I am loved more deeply than I can imagine. Colossians 3.12. You can also see 1 John 3.1. Just put I am chosen. Colossians 3.12. And you can also see 1 John 3.1. So you're chosen. The next one, you are forgiven of sin. You're forgiven. God will continue to restore me when I repent. He will hear that. He will continue to restore you when you repent. When you slip up, repent fast, y'all. He said he will restore you. 1 John 1, 9. Another thing, you're at peace. I am at peace with God, my Father. Therefore, I can have peace in any situation. Romans 5, 1. Another thing, I am God's own child. Therefore, I have a new family. John 1, 12. Like me, I lost my family, most of them, April 2020, five family members, my, my only immediate family that I grew up with since birth, all in one day. But God gave me a new family right here that has picked up the pieces that they dropped off, okay, and he will do that. All right, another one, I am God's own creative work of art. Write that down. Therefore, I can be glad and grateful for the person God has made me to be. Ephesians 2.10 I am a new creation. When you hear me pause, I want you to write that down. I am a new creation. The old life is gone. Therefore, I am no longer a slave to old ways of thinking. Because 2 Corinthians 5.17 Because as you grow and know God, your ways of thinking is going to change. As they should. Another thing, I'm a citizen of heaven. Therefore, this world is not the end. I have a divine destination. Philippians 3.20 I am a child of the light. Able to please the Lord. Therefore, my heavenly father is pleased as he watches me becoming more like Jesus. Ephesians 5.8-10 He is very happy the more we become more like Jesus. I am a royal I'm a part of a royal priesthood. Write that down. And a nation that belongs to God. Therefore, what the world says about me is not God's opinion of who I am. 1 Peter 2, 9. But I am reconciled to God. And I display God's reconciliation to others. Therefore, I have a valuable role to play in God's work here on the earth. 2 Corinthians 5, 18-19. Next one, I am able to give my worries to God because he cares about me. Therefore, I can rest in knowing that he will do what is best for me. 1 Peter 5, 7. Let's do a couple more. God is for me on my side. In my corner, therefore, nothing or no one can overcome the power of my father. Romans 8, 31. God is working everything in my life for my good. Write that down. And for his glory. Therefore, when I'm confused by circumstances, I trust his loving promise. Romans 8, 28. Let's do another one. God has prepared good things 
for me to do. Therefore, I have important work to do. God has made me part of his family business. Ephesians 2.10 Okay, now study that. Think about that. Ponder on it and get to know God's will. Just learn God's will. Just focus on that right now until he shows you what his will is for you. You may not get it today. You may not get it tomorrow. You may not get it in a month or two. You keep learning God's will. That's what he wants you to do right now. That's all he wants you to do right now because that's how you start knowing what his will is for you. Okay, all right, I'll see y'all at Google Meets tonight. If you haven't been, come. Don't cost you a thing to come. Don't cost you nothing to download the app. If you have a cell phone, you have to download the Google Meet app. Go to the App Store. Look for Google Meets. Download. It's free. All right, if you have a desktop or a laptop, just go to your search bar. Type in Google Meets at 8 o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Put in the code R-A-O-U-B-O-F. MVI come sit around. I'll let you in the room. We talk until 8 30. Let people get logged in. 8 30, we start. Everybody's microphones go muted. We pray and we start. Okay. Come with the lesson done. It's on my view. It's on my channel. I did the lesson yesterday. Look for the video. I did the lesson yesterday. It's on the board. Uh, it is labeled. I don't remember what I labeled it. But anyway, it's, it's yesterday's video. It's for, it says Google Meets on the video. So go study it. Okay. I want you to uh, look up the words. You know, look, know the meaning of the words laws, testimonies, judgments. I got the list of words up there. How God's word gives us power against sin, freedom. You know, all this. It's about how the Bible guides us. Guides us. Okay. We're going to go over that tonight at Google Meets. That we are to know, grow, and go. All right, you got to understand this. We should get past this point now, y'all. It's time to move on and, and grow up in the Lord a little bit and mature, start maturing. We should be past this part, okay? All right, in Jesus' name, God bless you all. Thanks some of you for what you've done. Thanks some of you for helping this ministry, helping us to grow. Don't forget, Tuesday nights on Google Meets, uh, God has added Igor and Tara to this ministry. So right now it's me, Igor, and Tara, and little Lily that takes care of our... Uh, website so thank you lily for what you do for the website and for the kingdom of god okay but igor and tara is part of the ministry as far as help guiding you in certain things igor god has added to give you updated world events so we can keep up with the signs of the times and god has added tara military nurse tara to come in and help guide you but what's going on with this thing they're trying to shove in everybody's body because he causes you to take a mark y'all you understand he causes you to so you need to be guided and directed, and that's who God chose to do this. Okay, so she's on Saturday night. So Tuesday night, Saturday night is uh, on Google Meets is Igor and Tara. Tuesday and Thursday night, I mean, uh, Thursday night and Sunday night, straight up lesson from God himself. Through my mouth, but from God himself. Okay, Jesus was very angry when I was with him, y'all, because he said there was destructive doctrines going around. That's what he told me. Destructive doctrines, he said, my own people do not know my word and they don't know how to hear me. When you don't know God's word, you don't know God's will. Okay? And you run around forever wishing I knew what God wanted me to do. But you got to know God's will first. That's what he's teaching you here. Okay? So come and grow. All right? In Jesus' name, God bless you. Anything you need to know is in the description on the video or go to my website, JesusDoers.com. Go check it out. All right, in Jesus' name, God bless. See y'all tonight.